Hey what's up guys this is Kaushik and today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add Google Photos to Windows 10 Photos app. Let's get started. So if you are somebody like me and probably already using Android over iPhone, chances are that you regularly back your photos up to the Google Photos. And that is literally a good practice. I know that because I just lost 5 TB of my hard drive. Two of the hard drives just crashed and I lost most of my photos but thankfully I backed up in the cloud as well. So it's definitely a good practice. Anyway, coming back to the topic. So if you are using Google Photos to back up your photos, now I am quickly going to show you how you can add it to your Windows Photos app. Let's get started. So first thing that you want to do here is go to drive.google.com and if you are logged into your browser basically with your Gmail account or Google account, it should directly take you to a page that looks similar to this one. So this is what is google drive of course now you would ask me okay you google drives is something that has all my documents excel sheet and everything right but uh, google photos is something different so why don't i see any folder there how do you want to do it well the trick is you have to go to the settings and click on that once you are in general tab this is the general tab scroll down a little bit and say create a google photos folder just check that and it basically will do automatically put your Google photos into a folder in my drive simple click on done now as you can see once that option is checked you can see here Google photos it says owner is me and created is 1913 which is pretty much the time right so it is just now created and it is basically a link from google drive to google photos and my task is half done i say half because there is another thing you need to do you basically need to sync this folder to your computer and then pick it up from there right so once you are done here the next step you want to do is click on this again and say download drive once you do that it will take you to this particular screen where it says get drive everywhere download for PC and once you download this file it gives you this prompt which says accept and install so this is basically downloading the Google Drive sync and it will install the Google Drive in your computer so I have just clicked on what I downloaded just now and it's a, as you can see it is trying to install something I'll just fast forward this whole thing so that the video is not too boring for you to follow now as you can see it says installation complete and we are basically done here we'll say close just give me a moment close and then say get started it will ask you for your email id and password basically it is trying to log into your account so i'll just do that all right so i just entered my user id and password in that previous screen and now i'll click on next so it is asking me if i want to install it in my phone as well i probably won't do that at this point of time i'll just say next again next all right now this is important because you might have about 10 gb of content in your google drive and typically i don't want them to sit locally in my desktop computer and i don't need all the documents to be stored here so i'll just say sync options and by default it says sync everything to my drive uh, that's something I really don't want and I'll say sync only these folders and Right now it will select everything I'll say don't select everything and here I'll figure out Google photos as you can see it is already showing year by year already arranged in that fashion So as soon as I do that and also remember this path because it will be required uh, At the next step. So I'll just copy it now. I'll go and click start sync 
okay so it basically came here and as you can see it is now downloading the photos all right so that's part two again i don't know why it creates the shortcuts every time i'll delete it i like my desktop to be very very clean anyway going to the photos app now on windows 10 so photos where are you this is my photos click on that all right and as you can see uh, i have a few photos already and i want to add google photos i'll go to settings and say add folder and z drive is unavailable this was my wd cloud storage which unfortunately crashed and i lost all my data uh, but anyway uh, let's let's paste the url that we copied press enter that they are going to see and you can see google photos here all you need to do is select that and say add this folder to pictures so this should add it here as you can see and i probably will remove it at some point of time but anyway so this is what you need to do and what it will do in the background is basically as you already know uh, it is syncing all your uh, google photos in that particular drive and i have about like 2.8 gb photos here so you can see it is downloading at this point of time uh, and i use a vpn sometimes it is terrible to uh, it gives me terrible speed so anyway it will take some time but end of the day long story short uh, you now have done all the settings that you needed to add google photos in your windows photos app so i think you uh, you that's what you wanted and in case uh, we helped you with this video please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to our channel so that we can grow thank you for your love and support you have a great day bye